Hey guys, one of the questions that I get probably more than just about anything else other than the normal questions like what's the best heating and air brand and questions like that. And that is when folks have a heating and air system, they want to get the most amount of life and the most amount of efficiency out of that system. So I'll get questions like, hey, what's what's things I can do to my heating and air system or what are some steps I should be taking to take care of my system, to make it as good as possible and so on, especially systems that are starting to maybe get a little more age on them and maybe they don't run quite as well as they used to. I've got something that I think that almost every homeowner, if you don't have an inverter system in America, should have on their heating and air system. And we're gonna go through some of the benefits that it offers, but I'm talking about a soft start home unit that you can add to your heating and air system. Now, let me first say that a heating and air professional should probably be the one to install this, but I've got a way that you can purchase it yourself down below. Just click the link and you'll be taken to a website where you can buy it yourself. But the cool thing about this particular company, there's lots of soft starts out there, by the way. I think some are probably better quality than others. This is one of the higher quality ones that I've laid hands on. And the cool thing about this particular company is they've sold tons of units. They sell them with residential units. They sell them for marine units. They sell them for RVs. They sell them for all kinds of things. And so you know that their product is tried and true and tested and all that good stuff. If you've got a system maybe getting a little older and you wanna get as much life out of that system, especially with all the other crazy things that we've been talking about in the past couple months with new efficiencies coming out, new refrigerants coming out, all these crazy things coming down the pipeline, this will be a way that you can get more life out of your unit. You can make your unit operate better. I've been in some houses where the lights might be flickering every time the unit comes on or their heating and air system makes this gigantic thump every time it turns on the compressor is getting abused big time and it's doing the best it can but it's just kind of sounds like somebody taking a basketball and hitting the side of the house every time that unit turns on and a lot of times I've seen units just continue to get louder and louder and louder over the years until it's just too late until that compressor fails or you have some other issue so I'll show you the unit in just a second I've got one here in my my hand. The unit can be installed right in your heating and air system. This particular model can go up to six tons, which is usually plenty for most residential systems. It's rated for 120 volt or 240 volt. One of the other interesting things that they're doing is they are testing the unit right now. I think they're in preliminary tests. During the making of this video, I can't make any wild claims like it's going to save you tons of energy, but they are currently testing the amount of energy you'll save because the idea is unlike, say, a hard start or just the compressor turning on with a simple run capacitor, you're having this initial spike in amperage and in, in resistance. And when that happens is it draws more energy. So if a system kicks on and it draws say 60 or 70 amps, even though the running amperage for that compressor running, once it turns on and it gets up and going, the initial amp draw, when that system turns on and kicks on, you can see a gigantic spike, right? And so what the soft start does is it reduces that. And I've seen videos where these things can cut that initial spike down dramatically, sometimes a fraction of what it was originally kicking on at. The unit is weatherproof. I personally, if I can get it inside the electrical cabinet, somewhere where it's out of the way, that's where I usually like to install it, but it's weatherproof. You can mount it really anywhere in that unit as long as it's safe and not something that your kids could get to. Let me show it to you. So this is kind of what it looks like when you get it comes in this bubble wrap, or at least the one that I got came in some bubble wrap inside the box. And then as you take it out of the bubble wrap, the unit kind of looks like this, okay? And as you can see, it mounts right up in there. So you've got some double-sided tape right there. You just tear that back off. And then you've got your screw holes right here that you can run the screws through to hold it permanently. But again, this mounts right up in there. And then you've got your wires here that you will land inside of there. It's got a little simple schematic right here, but if you're not quite sure how to wire it, you can go to their website softstarthome.com backslash support 
and they've got all kinds of wiring diagrams there. I've also seen where you can send them pictures of your schematics if you're not quite sure, and they will email you back how it should be wired. It comes with a two-year warranty, and I just think it's a really good product. I, I, I remember talking to one of the guys that works there, and we were kind of going back and forth about a lot of the benefits it'll make your unit run quieter it's just overall it kind of takes that abuse that a lot of compressors especially are under and it helps with that again if you click the link down below you're going to save 30 bucks from their normal retail price and you'll be able to add some life to your system your compressor gets that less abuse and the idea is that it'll last a whole lot longer right because the compressor is one of the really big ticket items for a lot of folks when that compressor fails then a lot of times they're making a tough decision. Do they want to put gobs of money into a system that now the compressor has failed, or do they want to go ahead and bite the bullet and instead of doing that, buying a new system? The idea behind this is a little bit of investment to extend the life of your system and help it run better, less abuse, and all that good stuff. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.